Here's my impression of Polly Walnut's laugh. Painless dentist. <laughs> It's not a mystery. You eat with your eyes first. You can make the most scintillating, scrumptious, smorgasbord of snacks possible, but if that thing looks like I'm not biting. And so I had an idea. I wanted something that looked absolutely stunning, just marveling to look at, but then also had a lot of substance to it to back it all up. And on top of that, I added a little bit of twist in there that we're gonna find out real soon. Compartmes, uh, tie-dye chocolate. Dude, this thing right here, I, I've seen a couple of photos of it, right? Absolutely stunning, if it's accurate. Strawberry, blueberry, orange, lemon chocolate. It's, oof, whoa, boy. This is an elite level chocolate brand. It's for the wealthy, it's for the high up. It's the kind of stuff that you would find in an Oscar gift basket or something like that, right? Right up there with like stuff that's obscenely expensive, uh, which this is, by the way. But it's for people that are discerning and have very high quality standards. Tiny rainbow chocolate sensation, chocolate fruit swirled Californication. Ooh, shout out to Hank Moody. A chocolate that can heal the nation. Taste and believe this heavenly creation. Ooh, okay, I see what they're going on. So on the surface, it seems like it's gonna be pretty fantastic. Interesting ingredients, handcrafted, made with love and affection, and you know it's gonna be good stuff. What exactly is the downfall here? It's white chocolate, baby. Now there's two universal truths in life. White chocolate by itself is always bad. John was the best grump, and you should never ever mention the war. But I want to find out exactly if we can even get to a level where white chocolate is good. I, I want to see if I will actually like white chocolate, because it's not fair entirely to just, you know, count it out, man. I want to give it a chance, and I figure if there's all this stuff going on, all these flavors, all these textures, all this craftsmanship, that might be enough to make white chocolate as good as like a mid-tier regular milk chocolate bar. I mean, it's possible. Hey, you never know until you know. It's got that Californian quality, you see. The, dude, okay, look at that. That is just, it's like looking at a Technicolor sheet of marble. I love it. I've been eating chocolate for a minute, my man. I ain't never seen nothing like this. The cool thing about this, and, and what makes it so novel to me and what makes it so interesting, is you can control exactly how much of what flavor you want. Let's say you want a lot of blueberry in one bite. Well, that's fine, just get the blueberry. Let's say you want a lot of lemon in one bite. Well, that's fine, just go for the lemon. Then you've got all those layers on top of that, mixing and matching, and really, if you think about it, making this the most customizable chocolate bar imaginable. I like having options, dude. And you can smell each individual fruit. It's like, there's the blueberry, there's the lemon. It's actual lemon, it's actual blueberry. None of that fake fugazi stuff, right? No fugazi, please, please. Fugazi. Part of me wants this to be absolutely horrible so I can continue my tirade against how horrible white chocolate is. But then part of me is like, well, maybe opening myself up to a world where dark chocolate and white chocolate can exist together and, uh, <laughs> And wait, and uh, and heal the nation. <laughs> maybe if we can do that, hey, maybe we're on to something. I am falling, I am ah, damn it! You want to know why white chocolate is so god awful to me? Because it is sickly sweet. There's never a bite that you have of white chocolate where you're not like puckering your mouth from the overwhelming sweetness that it's embodying itself with. It's just borderline inedible. And this thing right here. Oh, seems to embody those worst attributes as possible, man. You don't taste any of the fruit. You can't point out the individual notes of each thing. I even took a bite out of this little section right here to see if I could taste the blueberry, and this little section right here, if I could taste the strawberry and orange and all that other stuff, but you can't taste it. All you can taste is this like overwhelming, oversweetened, ah, God, like the kind of thing where I have to rinse out my mouth after eating it. It's that kind of beat. It's a beautiful bar, there's no doubt about that, but looks don't really matter if the substance isn't there to back it up. I, oh God, you know, <laughs> I was right. The one super high-end, super premium take on a white chocolate bar, pretty much the best of the best. I'll tell you this, hey man, if you know a white chocolate bar that's actually really, really high quality and could have put a spin on it that actually makes it good, Tell me, I'll eat it. I will show the world it because this was the best one that I could find and it costs a pretty penny. The people that like white chocolate, man, I, you know, they don't think it'd be like it'd be, but it do, it do.
Basically, if it's white, it ain't right.